Since Winget isn't natively included with Windows Server, you'll need to manually install its dependencies, starting with Microsoft UI XAML and Microsoft VC Libs. Visit the NuGet webpage for Microsoft UI XAML 2.7 and download the package. Emotions keep turning around, can keep it inside, no. Uh. Here we go, we go, we go. And let the roller coaster after downloading, rename the file extension from .nup to .zip. Extract the contents of the zip file. Open PowerShell as administrator and navigate to the folder path where you extracted the files using this command. Run the following command to install the package. Next is to visit the Microsoft website and download the appropriate version of Microsoft.vclibs.x64, based on your system architecture. Open PowerShell in the directory where the vclibs file is saved, and run the following command to install the package. With the dependencies installed, you can now proceed to install the Winget tool itself. Go to the GitHub releases page for Winget and download the Microsoft.desktopappinstaller.6 bundle file along with its corresponding license file. Open PowerShell in the directory where you saved the Winget package, and run the following command to install Winget. Some 
Run the following command to apply the license file. The way my emotions keep turning around, can keep it inside, no. Uh. Here we go, we go, we go. And let the roller coaster ride begin. Here we go, we go, we go. Already told you I will let you in. Story of my life, you run, but I need you. After completing the installation, it's important to verify that Winget is properly installed and functioning. Open a new PowerShell window as an administrator. Type Winget and press Enter. If installed correctly, you should see a list of Winget commands. Cause I wanna be loved by you, 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 you.